Feeling the burn. Feeling the burn. <laughs> Gentlemen, set down the animals and get off the furniture. We gotta talk. What's up, gentlemen? So with the increase in home workouts and home workout YouTube videos, I thought today it was critical that I go over the top 10 biggest home workout mistakes that most people make and how to avoid them. So the first home workout mistake I see a lot of guys making is not having a plan prior to actually working out. In order to have an effective home workout, you need a plan. You can't just wing it. You can't just go down and be like, yo, I'm gonna do like 15 push-ups and then uh, maybe some, maybe some squats. Have a plan and have a goal. It is critical for you to maximize your time working out at home that you don't wing it, right? You've got to know exactly what you're doing, when, how much rest, how much time, what exercise is followed by what exercise. Second most common home workout mistake I see a lot of you dudes making is focusing on a few specific body parts. Total body, gentlemen, not just your buys, not just your tries, not just your super sexy pecs or your crazy chiseled abs that are getting skinny fat if you don't continue to work out because the truth is, guys, the unfortunate reality of this whole quarantine situation, it's going to produce a lot of skinny fat dudes. And the reason is because you're not burning as many calories as you normally do. You're also not lifting weights. You're not exercising. You're not challenging your muscles as much as you should be. And the other thing that we do when we're stuck at home is we eat more calories, resulting in a bunch of skinny fat dudes. Gentlemen, it is critical that you start working out every single day, which is actually the third mistake skipping a day. So am I saying that you should work out every single day? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, that, yep, that's what I'm saying. Every day, if you want to eliminate the possibility of you getting skinny fat and losing all those super sexy gains you've been working so incredibly hard to actually achieve, guys, it's critical, in my opinion, that you work out every single day. Fourth mistake is exercising too fast. Let me explain. All right, gentlemen. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of you dudes making is that you're exercising too fast. You're doing your push-ups too fast. You're doing your tricep dips too fast. You're doing your squats too fast. Everything is super fast. When the truth is that if you slow down, had better range of motion and better form, you're actually going to get a better workout. I would rather you do 25 good push-ups as opposed to 100 shitty ones. Instead of this, I want you to try something. Ready? Check it out. One, two, three, four. Hold it for one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. All right, do it again. One, two, three, four on the way down. Then hold it. One, two, three, four. And up. One, two, three, four. You, let, let me tell you something. If you want to single handedly increase the intensity of any exercise that you do, slow it down. If you want to take your home workouts from like a six and a half to an 11.5, gentlemen, improve the quality of each repetition. Slow them down and focus on a complete range of motion. The fifth biggest home workout mistake is not utilizing supersets in your workout. Personally, I am the biggest fan of supersets. I feel like I get better workouts, I don't have to work out for as long, and my muscles get absolutely beat to shit. Now, essentially, what a superset is, is stringing a few different exercises together. I did a home chest workout video that I will link to down below. Now, here's the thing. The one thing you need to understand and be aware and wrap your brain around is that when you perform supersets, you're not gonna be quite as strong. With supersets, it's all about working the muscle to failure, to fatigue it, all right? It's not about strength. If you want something strong, you should check out the new Rebel. Whoa, did, did I just promote Rebel? Yes, I did. Gentlemen, Rebel, new, improved, and stronger than before. So we listen to your feedback, right? The first batch of Rebel, all right, you're like, yo, we love the fragrance. It smells amazing, just like Creed Adventus, kind of. Yeah, that's what it smells. It, it was inspired. Inspired by Creed Adventus, yeah. This is inspired by Creed Adventus because Creed was my favorite fragrance. But I was sick and tired of spending 300 freaking dollars on a bottle of Creed. And so I went to the lab, I'm like, yo, I want something that smells amazing like Creed but make it a little bit different a little a little sexier and gentlemen if you like Creed you're gonna love Rebel and the beautiful thing this is under 50 bucks guys blow this video I'm gonna link to Rebel go and read the reviews all right see what other people are saying about this incredible EDP fragrance now if you're not ready to pull the trigger on a big bottle even with the discount code no problem we sell these pre-loaded travel sprayers with Rebel. These travel sprayers are the greatest invention ever, all right? There's a little reservoir in there, and then underneath, there's this little nozzle, and all you do, you get your bottle of Rebel or whatever fragrance, right? 
you remove the sprayer and then all you do, put that on top and press. One, two, three, four, you pump it up. And what you're actually doing is filling up that little reservoir. And then when you're ready, guys, you pop it in your computer bag, your car, your glove compartment, or your dop kit, and then boom, boom. Ugh. <laughs> Seriously, stuff is so freaking good. Guys, below this video, there's going to be a link. There's going to also be a discount code. If you are ready to smell amazing, check out Rebel. Sixth home workout mistake that a lot of people are making, thanks to some really amazing YouTube videos, are dangerous workouts. Performing exercises with things that you shouldn't be exercising with. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to break the couch by stepping on it, but your mom is going to beat your ass. And that is what I'm talking about as far as dangerous. In all seriousness, guys, when you are using something like a chair or something and you're going to start like performing exercises, you've got to test it out. You may be surprised to know that this chair was not actually designed as a substitute for a bench for dips, right? Now, the truth is a lot of people are, are using it and that's great. It's great to be able to use different things for good purposes to make you sexy, but you gotta make sure that it can support your weight. Seventh mistake is not doing cardio, focusing just on muscles, right? And not that muscles aren't great and not that there's not a part of that, but you also, in my opinion, should be doing some type of cardio. Cardio not only is gonna help condition you cardiovascularly, your heart and your lungs and all that good stuff, it's also gonna help burn some of the crappy calories that you've been eating. Now, one of my favorite home cardio workouts is HIIT training. Think of HIIT training like cardiovascular supersets. So when it comes to HIIT workouts, you really have two different options. You can do a specific exercise for a designated amount of time, like 30 seconds, a minute, or whatever you wanna do. And then you move on to the next exercise and time that. Or you can do what I do, which is just count the amount of reps, all right? So if I was gonna come here and do like a HIIT workout, I might do like 15, right, single leg, right, step side squats, all right, and then after 15, boom, I'm hitting it here. As soon as I'm done 15, I might come here, right? And then do squat jumps, one, two, getting 30 of these, right? And then after that, maybe just boom, right here, right? Regular body weight squats or side steps. Some step touches and then boom, right down in the burpees. What, who's your daddy? Exactly, everybody hates doing burpees, but they're effective. HIIT training is amazing in terms of a cardiovascular workout that also gets you to work your legs a little bit, which is actually the eighth thing that a lot of people do wrong. They forget their legs. Legs, baby, you gotta hit the legs. Some of my favorite leg exercises are, of course, body weight squats, right, right here. Now, a few things that you can do to make these a little more challenging, all the way down and then halfway up and down. One, right, that's one. Down, halfway, up, and two. Down, right, or you can just do some pulses down here, right? Woo, mama, are you kidding me? You feel this pretty much right away. Gentlemen, it's all about that luscious booty and those quads, right, right there. Oh my God, yes. Or you can do squat jumps or lunges, are you kidding me? Lunges you can do in a lot of different ways, right? Stationary lunges, if you have any knee issues, you wanna be careful. You could also do reverse lunges right here. Walking lunges also are amazing. And the beautiful thing about walking lunges, you can grab like dumbbells or something, or gallons of milk, or your cats. <laughs> I'm kidding, not the cats. And make it a little bit more challenging. Something else you can do is step ups. Step ups are an amazing exercise, right? You can do these on a bench, you can do these on a chair, you can do these on a step. The ninth biggest home workout mistake I see a lot of dudes making is forgetting about isometric exercise, right? And isometric requires you to have no weight, right? It's just you squeezing the muscle, right? Going real slow and contracting and holding that muscle. Guys, isometrics are so incredibly effective. They're also crazy Hard. Guys, it's almost like you're lifting weights without the weights, right? Nice and controlled, range of motion, going in and just squeezing that contraction. And last, but certainly not least, the 10th biggest home workout mistake I see a lot of you making, and that is not working out at home. Gentlemen, you don't need a gym. You don't need weights. You don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You just need your body and the dedication and discipline in order to do it. Guys, have a plan. 30 minutes, right? If you don't want to do it like a super long, that's okay. 30 minutes a day is all it's gonna take to help you get in better shape, to feel better. Not to mention it helps your brain, right? In challenging times like this, right? It's all about managing our anxiety and stress. In exercise, there is no better way to make yourself feel better, to decompress, de-stress, and look super sexy.